Emergency Medical Services Week. And if I, while I'm working this way, if you're here representing the medical emergency services, come on down. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, Councilmember Hunter is going to help me with this proclamation. Oh, you've got it back here. All right, well, let me get out of the way and you. All right. All right. I'm going to do Emergency Medical Services Week. And thank you all very much for everything that you do. I know that the council and myself and the mayor really appreciates it. So thank you all. The emergency medical services provided by the Corpus Christi Fire Department is a vital public service. The members of the EMS team are ready to provide life-saving care to those in need 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Access to quality emergency care dramatically improves the survival and recovery rate of those who experience sudden illness or injury. <clears throat> Excuse me. EMS has grown to fill a gap by providing important out-of-hospital care, including preventative medicine, follow-up care, and access to telemedicine. EMS teams consist of first responders, emergency medical technicians, paramedics, emergency medical dispatchers, firefighters, police officers, educators, administrators, pre-hospital nurses, emergency physicians, and nurses, trained members of the public, and other out of hospital medical care providers. Members of EMS teams, whether career or volunteer, engage in thousands of hours of specialized training to enhance their life saving skills. Thank you. You go, Mayor. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as a mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, now there, I do hereby proclaim May 20th through 26, 2018. Emergency Medical Services Week in Corpus Christi encourage all citizens to recognize the value and the accomplishments of emergency medical service providers. And on this May 22nd, 2018, we want to commend you and thank you. And give, are you the spokesman for the group here today? All right, I'll give you that and the microphone. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would like to say thank you guys for having us. Uh, it's important to recognize the, the men and women of the Corpus Christi Fire Department for what they do on a daily basis. Uh, we train and we stay in a state of uh, readiness 24 hours a day, uh, 365 days a year for you guys. We're here to serve you guys. Um, we, we do a great job, I believe. Corpus Christi Fire Department, along with the, uh, the hospitals, as well as other parties, the police officers, we kind of see them as first responders as well. Um, Halo Flight, uh, the administrators and educators, all part of this community. Um, doing their thing to make sure that um, we're able to cover the emergency medical needs of, uh, of the city of Corpus Christi. So I want to say thank you, and it's an honor to serve with you guys and to uh, respond for you guys. So I'm going to pass this over to Angie, and she's going to say a little bit. On behalf of Corpus Christi Medical Center, we'd like to thank the city for recognizing this day and recognizing these men and women who really give their all every single day, whether they're on duty or off duty. Um, and also on behalf of the hospital, we'd like to thank Corpus Christi Fire for partnering with us towards our common goal of the care and improvement of human life. Uh, thank you so much for all of your service. Yeah, let's give them a hand. Thank you very much. Let's kind of, if we could kind of get in here and wake the council up back there so they can Stand up back there and we'll get a little picture.
All right, this next, uh, the next group of folks, uh, we really, we couldn't have a city without them, I'll tell you that. And uh, so we want to give them some recognition. National Public Works Week, if you're here for the National Public Works, come on down. And Greg Smith is going to help me with this one. Well, good morning. Here are the great people that uh, take care of our in infrastructure. So, public works plays a key role in planning, building, and maintenance of infrastructure that are of vital importance to a sustainable community. They are also needed for the health, safety, and well-being of the people of our community and will allow future generations to enjoy a higher quality of life. The dedicated men and women who serve as public works professionals ensure Corpus Christi has efficient and effective infrastructure and services. From designing water supply to maintaining our roads, public works professionals continue to deliver services. The 2018 National Public Works Week theme, Public Works Connexus, gives voice to the impact of many facets that public works have on modern civilization. From providing clean water to disposing of solid waste, building roads and bridges, or planning and implementing for mass transit, removing snow. I don't think you guys do a whole lot of that, do you? Uh, <laughs> this wasn't written here. <laughs> uh, on it to, uh, and emergency management strategies to meet natural, which are man-made disasters, which we sure had a good one six months ago. Public works services determined a society's quality of life. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested to me as mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim May 20 through 26, 2018 as National Public Works Week in Corpus Christi, and urge all the citizens to join the representatives of the American Public Works Association and the Public Works Departments in activities and ceremonies designed to pay tribute to our public works professionals, engineers, managers, and employees, and to recognize the substantial contributions they make to our national health, safety, welfare and quality of life and without them we really couldn't do it and we really do appreciate so much what you do and uh, let's give them a round of applause and thank them for their effort <laughs> so i think we're going to kind of go oh, to see who's going to be the spokesman thank, thank you mayor um valerie gray executive director of public works i believe the mayor and councilman summed up and it's hard to say anymore other than the, um, the power of public works is an appropriate um, slogan for this year. Because every day we're thankful for our public works uh, group and every employee that's in there that's doing their job. A lot of time they are very unsung heroes and we, we really don't get a chance to, to thank them. But we need them to understand that once a year we like to take this public time to recognize the work that they do on the week of May I think it's May 20th through 26th, next week. Nationally, we take that week out and recognize all those employees, both men and women, that work very hard to keep communities like ours uh, with a quality of life that we all are expecting. So we'd like to thank everybody who's here. It's a representative group. We're talking anywhere, exactly like the councilman said, from our, our water utilities to our street to our solid waste services, and everybody that's in a support behind that group to get their jobs done for the citizens of Corpus Christi. So we appreciate you, and we thank you very much for your service. They showed up in their yellow and orange for everybody. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Let's get, a, let's get a picture here.
in addition to the appreciation that we have, I, I was at a function the other day over on the opening, I think it was Greenwood, wasn't it? And the fire chief was telling how much nicer it is when the fire trucks and the ambulances get to ride on these nice smooth roads that we're rebuilding. And uh, so everything works together, whether you're in public works or you're the emergency medical services, it, it all works together as a team and we appreciate that very much. All right, Mr. Molina, and the next one is uh, a recognition, a day of hope for Parkinson's uh, rock steady boxing. Councilman Molina is going to help us on this one. You got it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative condition after Alzheimer's, both targeting people over 60. As many as 1 million Americans live in, with Parkinson's disease, and it is estimated that another 4 to 6 million worldwide suffer from this disease. In the United States, 60,000 new cases are diagnosed each year. Diagnosis can be difficult because there is no standard confirming test other than clinical examination, and while there have been considerable advances in treatment and care, the cause is still unknown, and there is no cure. The good health and well-being of the people of Corpus Christi, Texas, are enhanced by the support of the National Parkinson's Foundation to educate the public about Parkinson's disease. To celebrate our 10th year, we are promoting a fundraiser, a day of hope for Parkinson's, Rock Steady Boxing, hosted by Cash the Cure, a nonprofit organization that works to find a cure for Parkinson's disease. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim May the 26th as Parkinson's Day, a day of hope for Parkinson's rock steady boxing in Corpus Christi and urge all citizens in our community to push for a greater understanding of Parkinson's disease and the need for more funding uh, to eradicate the disease and spread the message of hope for future generations. So uh, spoke, you're going to be the spokesman for the group. We appreciate you being here and we appreciate the work you're doing. And... I looked at the agenda. I don't know that we need your boxing gloves, but we might want to save them for a little later on in the meeting. You never. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, my name is Andy Morales with the Coastal Bend Parkinson Support Group. Uh, we are doing the fundraiser this Saturday at Most Precious Blood Catholic Church at the St. Juliana Hall. We have three guest speakers coming in to speak on Parkinson's, the, the value of the exercise of Parkinson's. We will be selling chopped beef sandwich, chips and drinks for $8.00. Everybody's invited whether you have Parkinson's or not. And our goal is to bring awareness to Parkinson's. Our group only has about 60 members, and we know there's more than 60 patients with Parkinson's in and corpus. So we thank you for allowing us to be here today. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. and appreciate it. Let me give you a copy of that. Let's give them a hand, and we'll kind of gather around here for a picture. Boxing gloves on. <laughs> Here we go. This is going to be. Uh, 
All right. Uh, we have the uh, the next is the celebrating the 153rd anniversary of the Juneteenth celebration, the Spirit of Emancipation Days. Who's here for that one? Well, do you think she's mixed up on the date? Well, maybe she's running late. Uh, we'll put that one there, and if she comes, we'll do that. Let's uh, move to this one. Oh, man. It's hard to believe. But uh, the next one here is Hurricane Awareness Month. So if you're here on behalf of the Hurricane Awareness Month, Chief, 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 any, anybody else, come on down. I don't think I need to remind everybody here and that's watching on television how important these people play in the role and the significance of what, as they say, practice, practice, practice uh, does in terms of performance when, the, when it's game day. All right. Uh, this year, hurricane season officially begins June 1st and ends November 30th. The 624-mile Texas coastline, of, uh, coastline our, of our area and our other areas of Texas, hundreds of miles inland, are vulnerable to hurricanes and or tropical storms. With proper preparation, we can ensure the safety of ourselves and our loved ones. Catastrophic hurricanes or storms can, be, can devastate communities, neighborhoods, and local economies and have a devastating effect on Texas and our neighboring states. These storms have demonstrated hurricanes pose a serious threat, and as a result, we must never we must be ever vigilant in the face of severe weather. The leaders of the Corpus Christi strongly suggest that all residents and visitors to this area be made aware of the potential dangers of these storms and urge you to visit www.ready.gov or www.hurricanes.gov to find key information on building an emergency supply kit and knowing what to do when disasters strike. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim June 2018 Hurricane Awareness Month in Corpus Christi and encourage all citizens to share information about preparedness, response, and develop a family emergency plan associated with hurricane preparedness that will save lives and protect our communities. And let me just uh, say on behalf of the city council and myself, uh, the, these folks go way above and beyond the normal routine. We, we can't thank you enough. And they... They practice and they practice and they practice and when game day happened last year their response was tremendous and their practice paid off. So when you're doing all this practicing you get a little discouraged that you just think you're practicing for nothing, you're practicing for a whole lot. Um, and so we appreciate it very much and our goal last year under their leadership uh, was that we have no fatalities or casualties in Corpus Christi and we reached that goal and that is a significant uh, milestone when you have a a storm the size that we had last year. So, thank you very much. And we, uh, they're all leaders. So, who's going to make who's going to make the comments here? All right, Billy, Billy Delgado. Thank you, sir. Billy Delgado, Emergency Management Coordinator for the City of Corpus Christi. It's Preparedness Month uh, for our upcoming hurricane season, which is June first. Just behind us is a small group of a lot of people that had a lot to do during times of preparing and actual response to the hurricane and then the recovery portion, of which we're still doing. Preparing is something that we need to do. Uh, we do now, we're meeting with all departments, but as you, as the public, you should be prepared. Start getting your preparedness plans on what you're gonna do. Have a plan on if you're gonna evacuate, know your routes. If you have medication, have your medication stored. Gather up all your important documents in one location. That way when you do need to leave or you need to leave real quick that you'll have them in one location. We strongly encourage you to write down your phone numbers. Everybody has them on their cell phone, but do you know them if the case your power goes out? Write them down. Put them in your back pocket. Put them anywhere that you know you'll have it so you'll know that you can contact those people. If you're going to evacuate, let your family know where you're going to evacuate to. It's not too early to have your plan. We encourage all citizens to prepare now and to be ready for when a hurricane will hit. Not if, you have to plan when. 
So thank you. Thank the people behind me. Thank the city employees. And thank you all for listening to the, the recommendations uh, during Hurricane Harvey. So thank you very much. Let's give them a big hand. I'll tell you, they... And, and just so you'll know, the decisions that are made from the governmental level are not made by one individual. It's not the county judge that makes the decision. It's not the city mayor that makes the decision. It's, it's a meeting with a lot of these people and others from the county, uh, putting together all the information that we have available, and then we come to a decision. And that's when the decision is made with a lot of input. It's not just one person making a decision. So there's a lot of thought. And a lot of discussion, a lot of prayer goes into every decision that's made, particularly when the storm is bearing down on us. And so uh, these folks really do need uh, uh, and deserve our appreciation. Again, thank you very much. Let's get up and get a picture back here with the council. And I'll give you your certificate.